Howdy y'all, Joe Hills here, recording as I always do in Nashville, Tennessee, and today on the Hermitcraft server, it's time to say goodbye to the old spawn, and say hello to the new one. Isuma, Biffa, King Daddy D Mac, Cleo, whoa, 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 whoa. Howdy y'all, Joe Hills here, recording as I always do in Nashville, Tennessee, and today on the Hermitcraft server, it's time to say goodbye to the good old spawn of whatever this place is called, Hermittown, U.S. of A., and to embark on an adventure to the new spawn. Oh, hey, it's Zombie Cleo. Why don't we see if we can talk to her? Um, if, if you think Howdy. about it, too. There you go, welcome. Howdy, time, Asuma. So things are going to be hostile. <laughs> oh, that's okay. I'm always super hostile. Oh, punny. Punny. Don't die. Burn to death. <laughs> so... <Yes. laughs> So it seems like people have already started demarcating little plots here for themselves. Um, do we have a suggested plot size? Well, our mine's going to be fairly big. Mine's like 21 by 24. Um, D-Max, you can see, is probably about, I don't know, 13 blocks wide, and Mumbo's is a little wider. So are these surrounding hills and whatnot available for claiming at this point? Ah, oh, right, you haven't been with us at the meetings. Okay, so let me explain what's going on. Um, this path that I'm building right here is like... And I've got music playing. One sec. <laughs> oh, my sound. Ah, 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 creeper, 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 creeper. You may continue, Asuma. <laughs> Did you just say there was a creeper? A little bit. Yeah, repeatedly. I just noticed my uh, recording isn't recording, so... It's not a recording, is it? Well, uh, <laughs> let's let's just pretend we're that it was recording today. and that we're starting all over again. Hi guys, welcome to the new village. <laughs> <laughs> all I've done so far is built this path and mark out where I'm going to be building. Mm -hmm. Like we don't want to step on each other's toes when we build all shops and things like that. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of waiting to see what other people do. I, I guess my my question is more like, so if folks want to do freeform sculpture or cool stuff like random builds, not necessarily shops or functional buildings, but like, it's more comparable to like the monuments we were working on and stuff. Is that okay yeah. to do within Eyeshot of Spawn? Yeah, anywhere around here is fine. Just just that area behind the valley that you're walking through, that's, that's reserved for residential. So if ever there's new people coming on the server in the future, um, then they can, there's plenty of space around here for them to build as well, basically. Excellent, and I'd like to remind my viewers that if you'd like to join Hermitcraft, you can just send a tweet to Hypnotized. No, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> no, do it. Do it. It'll be really funny. But the tweet It'll shouldn't so ask annoying. to join Hermitcraft. The tweet should say, Hypnotized, I watched some of your videos today and they made me happy. Just don't <laughs> yeah, mention, that, that'll get you on. Don't do mention the server. That, that, that's, that's the handshake. It's just, wink. I like yeah. your videos, <laughs> wink. <laughs> In fact, you know, go ahead and like and comment all my videos too, folks. That that'll that'll be a real humdinger if you're trying to get on. <laughs> Have so, you seen uh, the new stained uh, stained clay, stained glass? I think it's awesome. I've been waiting for this. I've been wanting to do like a massive church stained glass window. Ah, oh, so you'll be needing some more sand. <laughs> <laughs> I still got like nine double chests full, but um, I haven't finished the the other place yet. So yeah. Yeah. Well, I've got more more sand. It's all filled up again. <laughs> the price has increased though, because I realise there's demand. <laughs> it's it's all right. I'll use those twenty diamonds you refunded me on. So ah, yeah. that'd be cool. I should have kept those. <laughs> <laughs> oh. so anyway, diamonds I'm going to be building this path down the middle now. Oh. Okay, when you're saying you're doing the residential, what areas are actually um, okay for like houses? Um, Is it well. Just left and right of this... of this, left and right of this path was the idea to have it nice and close together, like on mm. the previous spawn. But really, you can build anywhere. Like you can build off there, or maybe on the other side over there. We talked about building a bridge, so there's like a second residential area. Um, if you don't want to build it on the path, that's fine. It's just uh, that was. I, I kind of like every, the idea of everyone being together. I just, I'm just, try, I'm just trying to figure out where where's okay because I mean, this is your area, I think. Yeah, um, these houses here, they're not really like, this is my house and there's an area around it. They're going to be all squashed together houses like on the last one. So um, this is where my house ends around here. And you can see it's just a couple of blocks before Mumbo start. 
So okay, so teeny tiny houses. I can deal with teeny tiny. Yeah, although mine's actually quite big. <laughs> you look. That, 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 you've 20... seen the scale I build on. That's teeny tiny. Yes, that's true. Okay. <laughs> I I might Point do. Taken. <laughs> I might do some kind of upwards building then. Upwards. Oh, like a tower. Yeah. I'm hey, thinking... that would look great because it kind of like looked down over the other buildings. As I do generally. Um, yeah. Okay. So, so, so. Hmm. Yeah. How far's this this going? Is it going up to the portal and then over, or what? Um, the portal's probably going to get pushed back a little bit. When I was looking at this right here, it looked like it would be a good idea to dig it away a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, so, so there will be a structure of some sort here in the future. Yeah, like, right where you're standing house. there. And if we were to dig all of this back then it would kind of validate this area over here on the left as well if we were to just flatten it out a little bit. That makes a bit more space that way. I, was I don't think say... we need to generally flatten the terrain out. I thought the idea was that we were going to sort of use the terrain instead of digging it all out. because Yeah, it's, um, it's, it's just cheap. that this area is fairly flat. Like Obviously we're not going to flatten it so it's just all at the same level. It's just when you get to this bit here, you've got this kind of obnoxious mass of land that spreads over what could be another area that would be nice if it were flat. Where, where like, we're, not, we're not going to cut into these hills back here or anything like that. That makes sense. Mm. Okay. We don't have to flatten it. I was, it was just a thought of mine. Who's is this house? That is D-Max. D-Max house. Yeah, um, Biffer and Timfoil Chef were here earlier as well, but they don't seem to have... Actually, no, look down here, there appears to be another plot. Mm. So, yeah. Mm. yeah, future home of TFC. Okay, so TFC's at the bottom. So I, I thought we were going to be able to see like a canopy biome or something from small, or from the village, and I don't... Which direction's it in? That's that's over the other side of this... Um, where are you? I, I'm where up on top of these uh, snowy peaks here, trying to find them. And there's quite a few of those, Joe. You're... Ah, there you are. Well, so no, I'm back come over middle. this way to the one in the direction that I'm heading. Uh, do these um, grow back... Not grow back, uh, drop saplings now? Um, I'm not sure. Are they the new wood type or not? Should there are two new types of saplings. I'm, I'm not sure what these are. Take down this isolated one here. It shouldn't leave. This is uh, dark oak wood. Oh, there you go. You got an achievement. <laughs> oh, hey. So look, oh, good. It tells everyone that I'm getting wood. So I pick one up. Dark oak wood. So this is actually the new type. I've got some oak wood right. back at the other area. Yeah, it's slightly darker. Or is it? Yeah, it, it looks a bit like the mahogany. Hmm. Okay, I can use that. That looks good. Oh, I've got a sapling. Yes, dark oak sapling. We need okay. four of those to grow a tree. What, you... Okay. Oh, you need Are we four? just going to leave it like this? <laughs> sure. It's terrible. We hate nature. <laughs> You're going to have to jump up one to get those ones. I have managed I'm to completely leave all my useful tools behind. Because oh, it grows on sensible. clay. Nice. It grows on clay? Apparently, oh. it might That's spawn on clay and not grow on it. Sapling. Discovered something there, Joe. Spawn on clay. Because you need to put four of these in a group to uh, get them to grow. Hmm. Fortune now works on leaves as well, by the way. If you've got fortune on an axe, there's actually oh. a purpose for it at last. What do you get more <laughs> saplings? Yeah, um, yeah, saplings and apples. Oh, saplings, oh. my favourite. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm now lost about where we have to go back to the village. Oh, just uh, follow Joe. Yeah, I okay. always know where everybody is. And then I oh, run yeah. the opposite Joe's got, direction. Joe's got an amazing sense of direction. Mm-hmm, just point me toward a village and then I'll avoid you. Um, there's some of the new... Ah, this must be where Biff is going up here. Yeah, look. His little flower patch. Biffa's here. mountain. Put his flowers down everywhere. Excellent. I like the new flowers. They're good. I like nice that they provide, they provide dyes as I well. I didn't do that. Oh, I just looked at the enderman. Mm-hmm, <laughs> fail. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? 
I don't know, but I can hear it. I can hear it too. Didn't that used to only be audible to the player there. that he's mad at? Yeah, I thought that as well. Anyway, I'm hiding under a tree. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they'll sing songs of Isuma the Brave. <laughs> Isuma looked the Enderman directly in the eye, and as soon as the Enderman began to teleport, he cried, Quickly I'll flee beneath yonder tree. I'm Isuma the bravest that there's <laughs> been. <laughs> oh. Joe, I've got something you're going to love. Um, I brought with me a stack of books, feathers, and ink sacks, and we need to set up mailboxes for everyone. Oh, that'd be awesome. Oh, good. Yes. It's just like Animal Crossing. Next, we can get mortgages and pay you back in leaves. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here's the um, the dark wood next to the spruce wood. Let's put these down and have a comparison. Yeah, it's ever so slightly darker. Hmm. Actually, I really do like that. It's um, much browner, and this one's slightly redder or brighter, I guess. Less saturated, I don't know. Yeah, Quite I nice. think I'm going to set up on, on, on somewhere along the ridge line because uh, it's just not... Being in the valley is is not going to be as visually striking, I fear. No, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking of... of... Well, a mix of both is going to work, isn't it? We're going to have some houses down here and then some up the top. I think, think I'm going to look good. claim this little ridge thing here and build a tower so I'm just, like, like massively above everyone else. Sounds good. I need to figure out a way of... Hmm. Okay. My mailboxes. Yeah, as soon as I heard Biffa on the team speak earlier describing the place he was claiming, I'm like, that sounds like where I would have taken. Dang it, Biffa. I would have taken that as well. He totally scooped me. Okay, need to do signs then. And that's a trapdoor. Well done, Cleo. Oh, there's a cool hill here that's like kind of spherical, like R2-D2's head. We could dress it up for Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, Pungence and Schism want to do Halloween thing, I think. Yes, yes, but yes, I don't know do. if we can talk about that during our videos, because it might be secret. Ah, oh, clap your hands and you'll see the spike and you can edit out. <laughs> Either you do that. Well, but I'm also, uh, yeah, no, I picked that I up don't. from the dead workers. But I'm actually also trying to actively scout out a location, so I don't want to go, oh, there's my location and I can't use this because we just betrayed the secret confidence of pungence and schism. <laughs> the secret confidence. Alex. Oh, yeah. So... This road is going to basically hit this mountain down here, isn't it? Well, it's going to diagonal. If you have a look where the torches are, the torches diagonal off as oh, well, and they go okay. through the valley. Okay, okay. So we'll call that Diagon Valley. I'll tell you what, if someone were to build a bridge across the valley from one side to the other, and you had like a building on either side, that could look like something. What, you mean where this waterfall is? Yeah, um... Because I could do a double tower. Yeah, if you put a tower on either side and then had a bridge across, the path will go through this valley. So, yeah. um, so we can climb out, climb over both sides. In fact, I think... Hang on, is this Biffa's... Hour? No, that's not part of Biffa's. Biffa's is the uh, hills over there that are kind of hollow. Okay, hollow hills. so if I, ta if I claim this thing on the top of that mountain, I can do a bridge tower. You could totally yeah. make it like uh like the twins from uh uh what is it? what is that thing with all the thrones where people play games? Game of thrones. Yeah. <laughs> you could be like I am Cleo of the twins. You could also or, do the Lord of the Rings thing. You can have the two people with their hands out on either side. Build a little river. You can only go through like a boat. <laughs> okay, can I talk <laughs> real quick, something's been bugging me, like a lot. Okay. Saruman's tower is too big, right? He's yeah. one guy. He's one guy. What does he do? Does he hold conferences there? Like <laughs> the no, no, no. The the sheer scale of that tower is completely unjustifiable. Like I understand, well, it's yeah, too it's magic, isn't it? Well, but it wasn't just supposed to be because before he was evil and raising armies all the time. Why did he need such a big tower? Like <laughs> the not only is it ludicrous to construct in the first place, but maintenance and just like upkeep, insane. Like, it, it's not a reasonable tower for any man to have. Like, well, yeah, he is. He, he does have, like, followers and people that will probably clean up after him. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, though, like, that thing could easily house, like, I mean, that thing is, like, 50 stories high, okay? 
This is this is a skyscraper that is empty. Like it's this massive empty skyscraper. I don't know. Seems kind Why of Why can I not Oh there we go. Sorry. Sorry, Joe, I apologize for interrupting you. No, I, I mean just... I'm 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 done. I'm done. I'm just unhappy about uh <laughs> about the how Lord of the Rings uh depicts Saruman's tower. That's just me. <laughs> I think it's a little bit egregious. A yeah, little bit too ostentatious. I haven't seen my towers yet. Oh, yeah, I'm sure they'll be spired with gold and, uh, I don't know, silvered with silver. I don't think I have that much gold. I can try. 